it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this absolutely adorable, fun, pom-pom crochet stitch edging. It's a lot of fun, it looks great on um, kids projects I think because it's kind of got this lovely play to it and it would look great on a blanket or cushion cover edging, it's just going to look great I think. It's a very very forgiving um, edging stitch so if you don't have enough stitches to reach the corner or just you know you need to sort of do a little bit of um, fiddling about fudging it a little bit then you know it uh, it really isn't going to show it's really forgiving so if you need something that's going to be uh, going on the edge of something that might be a bit awkward then uh, this is a great one if you're using a granny square or a granny stripe then this would be you know easy to kind of place where to put these locking down stitches so you know um just a really great stitch i think i will put in the description box down below the blog post link to where i found how to do this so you can go and check that out but um otherwise i hope you find this video helpful and don't forget in my description box down there i've got lots of links two videos that I think you will find helpful so I'm going to get on and show you how to do this. So I've just got myself a little square here that I've made up just so that I can make this uh, this edging around because I think that's probably the best way for me to show you and I'm just taking some contrasting yarn that hopefully you'll be able to see. <laughs> so I'm just going to attach the yarn to my hook and I'm just going to start um, well, let me start. I don't. It doesn't really matter where you start because we're just going to be doing a border. So, you know, imagine this is a nice long edge. So I'm just going to start up here because I want to show you getting around a corner. So I don't want to kind of have to work too hard. <laughs> um, so actually, I'm going to I'm going to do it the wrong. So I've got the wrong side facing me because I think it looks better if you do it this way personally. But uh, you know. You do whatever works uh, for you. You'll see what I mean when we get going. So I just attached the yarn there just with a double crochet. So you might know that as a single, but I'm British, so I call that a, uh, a double. And I'm going to do three chains. One, two, three. And then we're going to um, do three more chains. One, two, three. And I've put my finger on that third chain that we did that I did there because I'm now going to work four trebles into that um, together so to do that you start off the stitch so again I'm British and I use British terminology so I call that a treble but you may know it's a double crochet it's the same stitch and um, so we're going to do four together so I'm going to put the hook down into that third chain I'm going to start off my second treble but not finish it off and I'm going to do a third one and I'm saying third because those three chains there replace the first treble and then I'm going to do my last fourth one into that same chain there and now I'm going to finish off all four by putting the yarn over the hook and pulling it through all of those loops there okay so I'll put in the description box a detailed video on doing a stitch together so you can do this with any kind of stitch okay so now we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do it into the top of this um, bobble stitch that we've done here so again we're going to do four trebles together so that's one two so you put the yarn in grab the yarn and just put it through the first two loops and just leave those loops on the hook and then one more time into that same space and now I've got my four trebles and I'm going to finish them off together and put the yarn over the hook and pull it through all of those loops on the hook okay so we've got something that looks a little bit weird here but now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the crochet hook down and into that third chain that we did those first four trebles together in we're actually just going to do a slip stitch so you just put the hook in grab some yarn and you put it through that chain and you put it through that stitch on the hook and there is your little pom-pom <laughs> okay so now we're going to chain three one two three and in this case I'm just going to skip 
two stitches. So I'm not going to work that one or that one. So into the third one along, I'm just going to do a double crochet just to lock that down. So if you were doing this along a granny square, you could just by all means do it in between the gaps that you have naturally between of the groups for the granny square. That would work out fine. And I'm just going to take my hook out now, turn that around, and I think you can see that that actually makes a really nice little bobble. And that's all it is. That's just making that little bobble there. So that's two lots of four trebles together. And you sort of latch them back down again. And, and that makes the bobble. So I'm just going to do that again. And that is chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to do four trebles together. So we're going to do replacement treble is three chains. Let's get my yarn here, it's getting caught up. And then into that third chain along, so that's one, two, three. Into that one there, we're just going to do four trebles together. So you put the yarn in, the hook in, pull the yarn through the first two loops, and then repeat that now to make four. Four. That's three and one more four. Finish all those off by putting the yarn through all of those loops and then again three chains and then we're just going to repeat that into that top of that um, bubble that we did there. That's one. Two. Don't worry about that bit getting big like that. That happens. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And then there's the fourth one. And then yarn over and put it through all of those loops there. And then again, we're going to bring the hook down. And into that same place that we started off these four trebles, we're going to put the hook through, grab the yarn, put it through, and then put it through that loop there as a slip stitch. Chain three. One, two three and then we're going to one two three along and I'm just going to do my double crochet there okay so I'll turn that around and you can see we've got two bubbles two pom-poms and you're just going to keep doing that all the way around your project so I'm going to come come back when I've worked a few more of these pom-poms and I'm going to show you how to get around the corner so it's difficult to approach a corner and I've just done a little example here where I've worked my way up, like I said I was going to work my way up to the corner and it did work out that I ended up you know, naturally in this corner position here but I just wanted to show you what I did as an example of how to approach it if you're running out of stitches or kind of don't have the right number of stitches because you know I said that we have two stitches in between each of these. Well here I've actually put four stitches in between where I've locked down the bobble and if I'm honest if you look at it quickly at a glance you know if I move it around it doesn't actually look much different so you can approach the corners like this and it is difficult to, to kind of um, always get the um, right distance between the stitches to make it evenly spaced you know I can't advise because I don't know how many stitches your project is going to have so I can't say you know specifically how many stitches you will need across wise to get an even spacing and you know by the time you finish finished a whole blanket you're definitely not going to have in mind to specifically have a certain number of stitches around the edge to accommodate your um, border stitch so um it's always difficult to advise so all I can say is just kind of you know this is showing that you don't have to stick to these rules so I hope that that helps and you know then I would from here I would continue doing my three chains and my bobble would be here and then I would lock it down around this corner so that would bring it around the corner so unless you specifically wanted to have a bobble on the corner I think this actually brings it around quite nicely anyway I hope you found this video helpful uh, if you did, I'd love a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button down below and you'll get notified of when my new videos come out. And if you have any questions or queries, please put them in the comments box down below and I'll try and get to you as soon as possible. Do check out the description box under this video. I think it says show more. 
if you click on that show more button down there then you'll see all that information that I've added for you and it'll give you links to videos that I think you'll find helpful okay so I'll just say goodbye for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye just before you go why not check out my last video I uploaded before this video and click on that box in the middle there on the left hand side why not click on that subscribe button and on the right hand side go and check out my patreon page if you want to i'd love it if you did that as well okay thanks bye